it shows her sights and sounds throughout this city, but for the next few hours, all eyes are going to Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Today, we've got a great week five matchup in store here between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Las Vegas Raiders. Brandon on one side, Charles Davis, and CD, if you look at the Chargers coming into play, they're square off. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. Taken at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game, bottom line. May not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. They started on the ground with Eckler. And a short pickup to about the 25. The numbers for him from a week ago, 21 carries, 95 yards. Well, we all know he had a big workload last week, so I'm eager to see if they decide to back him off a little bit. Personally, I hand it to him 20-plus times again. When a running back's locked in like he is, I want him to keep touching the football. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Third and short, so didn't need much, but got a little extra on the backside. Nice run. Chewed up the yardage, didn't he? To me, that was offensive line with leverage, good blocking angles taking on a stacked defensive front. And once they chopped that little hole in the beginning, he took it and rambled. And just the third play from scrimmage, wanted to avoid the three and out and did just that. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. It's Eckler again. Nifty move. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Running on first down, Eckler. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. Holding offense. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 38. Here's Herbert. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. But he's brought down at the 34. We'll call it a gain of four. On second down, Eckler. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Now come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, here's Eckler. 
And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders shaken up on that one. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Herbert jet sweep as he taps it forward. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Second and five now. Herbert. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rocky Sin. And the Raiders are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. The Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback, and that's Derek Carr. And it certainly had taken Herbert long to earn his status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. Locked and loaded at every snap, and the second he sees an opening, that ball is soaring downfield. You better be on your toes against him on defense. The second you turn your head, they'll burn you. Now after the INT, it's Carr. Got a man open, it's Darren Waller. A check on the numbers a week ago for Waller. Seven catches, 89 yards. And he was able to haul that pass in there, but he knows he's got a tough task ahead of him. This unit in the top five in the NFL against the pass. He's gonna have to really work hard to get open. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. Looking again for Waller and he's got him again. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. On play action, it's Carr. Over the middle complete. That's Jenkins. And he's going to have the Raiders first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. The Raiders had two and two through the first four weeks of the season, and they come in losers of two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he'll get this up to about the 40. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter from Vegas. The home standing Raiders with a football here. As they've got a second and eight forthcoming. To throw his car. And he fires one that's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Rosas good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. 
And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing his car on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. On oh, the return is Williams. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. So here are the Chargers to take over. They were seven-point winners a week ago, and they lead by seven here as well as they start out first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Herbert. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And they're gonna get this to about the 44 yard line. To win any route, you've gotta break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Back to throw here, Herbert. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Herbert. Complete. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good, and this will remain a one touchdown game. Well, listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. He's across midfield to the 48-yard line. It's a game of four. Makes it. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's taken down at the 43, but now before picking up the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. Once again, it's Jacobs, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run right here with Jacobs. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. The Raiders on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Now Carr. 
catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 28. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. Has a pretty good throw on the cool route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? Yeah, they should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. That's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Car now on first down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. To throw again on second down. Carr completing it to the right side, Johnson. First target, first catch, and a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Carr going to throw. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Looking to throw again on second down. Carr. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They'll run it with Jacobs. And he's over the line and in for a later touchdown. Josh Jacobs. His first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Raiders are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that was a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive, and it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders shaken up on that one. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. So from the 36 now, first and ten. A shotgun snap for Herbert. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. To the air again, Herbert. Open man is Palmer. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. 
He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 22-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On first down, it's Herbert. That is caught at the seven. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. Mike Williams as the first half is winding down. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. PAT up and good by Rosas. And that makes the score 14-7. to So that drive in total eight plays. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Takes it at the seventh. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And he's going to lose yardage, not that it matters, as the final seconds tick away. So we have reached halftime intermission for the visiting Chargers. Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Golf has been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. From the gun, it's Carr. This will be caught by Brown. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. Now a play fake, Carr. Thrown across his body and it's intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And the Chargers are gonna take possession of the football. I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team is struggling to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here of the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. 
And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Eckler now between the tackles. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Out of the gun, Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route, the drag, and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Herbert on third down now. Certainly not what they wanted there. No gain, and it's fourth down. Rosa's kick is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So golden field position there is squandered as they can muster only a field goal. Yeah, you were gifted a first and goal situation, but I have to give credit to the defense. They were brought out in a really tough situation, so give them credit to hold them to three. That's a pretty nice accomplishment. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. There's Las Vegas ready to take the field. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call. run got nine that leaves him with second and a yard counter play with Jacobs oh what a juke into space 20 10 5 and he will score touchdown Las Vegas bottom line when you play a runner with these talents you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. Carlson now had the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. On as the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes last week. He ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That To me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Eckler are going to get it again on second down. And we pause for an injury here. It looks like it's, yeah, it's Keenan Allen who's in some pain down there. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Williams brings it in. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. 
whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Herbert on first down now. He'll get this. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Raiders have recovered. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half. And that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always pushing ball security. And none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. So after the fumble recovery, it's Carr, and that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down. However, let's see what that's about. Colton Miller, former first-round pick, called for the penalty there. Still first down. Card out of throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Throwing again on second down. Carr, he goes right back to Adams. That's complete. Carr fighting his fellow college teammate Adams there for the Raider first. A little football 101 there. He just see the receiver trying to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. On second down, Jacobs. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. 116 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Yeah, that's more strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. Look at that little drive brewing right here. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. Calling a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Now Carr. Forced out to his left. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Six yards to go. Throwing his car on third down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So Carr will depart, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson, for the field goal try. Carlson able to put this one through, and that will tie things at 17 all. So they wind up turning the turnover into points as they convert there for three. Yeah, that was a nice job there to force the fumble. They recover, hand things over to their offense, and then the offense went down and got them three. That alone, that's not enough to win a game, but both units able to do their jobs on these last two drives. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. They should just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think Coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take a downfield punch in the end zone without turning it over. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. 
And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 35 on second down, Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. And this offense on third down today, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. Here it's third and two. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Draw play. It's Eckler. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Here's Herbert. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Now it's Herbert. And this is caught by Williams. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 29-yard line. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory as they're down to the 29-yard line. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. And that'll bring up second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Herbert. It's complete to Williams. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ball game now, and he's got a first down. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Herbert. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that'll bring up a third down and goal. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did it a big way there. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Herbert will give this one to Eckler, and he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring out the fourth down. Have to take this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So a big one coming now for Aldrich Rosas. This to break our fourth quarter time. Rosas' kick is good. And with that, they take the lead here, 20 to 17. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. 
And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. From the 24, Carr. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. I'm not sure I'm absolutely crazy about that play call there. I mean, it's only one score game, so is it really time to go bombs away and try and make a big play? I think you can take some underneath stuff and still move it downfield. L.A. readies for its next possession. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. So first and 10 now from the 30. After the turnover, here's Herbert. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Chandler Jones from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine. He'll give them an instant to react. It was a classic case of if you blink, you missed him. Off the line and to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Up the middle with Eckler. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to swell the lead to six. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And that will keep this a three-point game. Maybe an important fourth quarter miss as this stays a three-point game. Yeah, now overtime is very much in the equation here. Just what you mentioned, a three-point game. They get a drive, put it through the post. We could have some free football, couldn't we? So Carr and the Raiders now down 20-17. to 17, A minute 51 on the clock. And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and 10. Throwing his car. Able to connect with Jacobs. taken down what a huge play at this point in the game here's Carr, and that's complete to brown and they do get this across midfield of the 49 but a small consolation prize as he's well short of the first now they go for it on fourth but this one is going to wind up incomplete they had to go for it with such little time remaining and this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49 yard line and he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take an E. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take an E. On is the Chargers punter now, as he should be able to pin them back deep here with his first punt. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. 
What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting into midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So for the Chargers, they move a step closer to 500 as their record improves to 2-3. And, and they'll get another road test next week. As they